Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. This is FM Pepe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe and we're here looking at Newcastle United as our FM20 team previews. And 43 and a half grand a week, good salary. St James's Park holds 52,404. Uh, I've been there, good training facilities, average youth facility. And it seems like you've loaned uh, Valentino Lazaro, a right wing back, I think, from Inter Milan. Osh I don't think he's... Uh... Yeah, he's okay. Danny Rose has come in from Tottenham, a left back. Nabil Bentaleb, the former Tottenham uh, midfielder, has also joined. And Jethro Williams. Uh, Williams has also joined. He too is a left back. So uh, it gives him a bit of a choice. Between Rose and Williams. Which probably means Dummett will play centre half. Um, they've loaned out Lazar. And I think they've also loaned out a few young guns in Woodman. Barlazer, Aarons, Murphy. Um, who all... Could possibly feature in cup games and bolster the squad. So it looks as though they're playing a 5-2-3. Uh, yeah, 5-2-3. And Joel Linton's up front. Uh, they favour attacking football. They want you to sign players under the age of 22. Or um, just don't sign them over the age of 30 or over. And they want to maintain self-sustainability. Because Mike Ashley is prudent shall we say because i'm i'm poor and i can't afford to get sued and you've got to work within the wage budget obviously because you know again uh words that will get me sued um premier division mid-table finish is what he's looking for <coughs> you'll be lucky <coughs> <coughs> anyway let's go and have a look at the squad Okay, there's some good and there's some bad news about taking on Newcastle United as an FM20 save. Um, firstly, you got a £16 million transfer budget, not a lot. Um, and you've got about forty grand to play with in the wage budget. Now, that might not sound... <laughs> like the good news and that's because it's not um uh and won't be tied yet it gets worse um the amount of players in the same position is stupid um you've got six center halves you've got uh Dummett, um rose and willems who can all play left back uh, and Rose and Willems are on loan. So if you don't sign them both and you sell Dummett, you're in trouble. Um, you've got four, no, five. Five right-backs in Lazaro, Sterry, Manquilo, Yedlin and Kraft. Um, why you have four right-backs and then you go and get Lazaro on loan? No idea. Um, you have four defensive centre mids in Shelby, Hayden, Bentaleb and Sean Longstaff. Oh no, five. Matty Longstaff. Oh, I don't think he's really defensive. Um, but Matty Longstaff and Henry Saive are your other options in midfield. Um, but mainly they're defensive. Um, you don't actually have a right wing player at the club. Um, Christianatsu, Almiron, Sam Matsin, uh, Sam Matsimin is and Yoshinori Mutu are all left midfielders. All four of them. Uh, not one right winger. You got five right backs. Um, oh, hang on, I think Matt Ritchie's somewhere. Let's see. Oh, you got one right winger. There you go, Matt Ritchie in right midfield. <laughs> um, so I've put him in place of Christian Atsu. Um Yeah. So you got you got a 
quite a few players you can get rid of. You've got Andy Carroll, Dwight York, uh, sorry, Dwight Gale. Dwight York, bloody hell, that's a blast from the past. Dwight Gale, Yannick Torre, and Joel Linton. Those are your four strikers. Um, Gale's not so bad. Yannick Torre is a young lad coming through. Um, you can have a look at Yannick Torre here. Uh, 14 in dribbling, finishing and first touch. Decisions, acceleration. He's 18. He will develop, he will get better. For sure. Dwight Gale. Solid. Backup striker. I'd keep him. Um, Joel Linton. Uh... Uh, well, he's 22. I suppose he could come off the bench, but I wouldn't have him as a starting striker. Andy Carroll, a squad player. Uh, but you could keep him because although he's not going to play every game, he does count as part of the homegrown players in your registration because he's come through the club's academy. Uh, so along with Matty Longstaff and Sean Longstaff, and Paul Dummett, they will all count as players who came through the youth system. I think you need four of them. Now I've promoted a young lad called Jake Turner, goalkeeper, uh, six foot two. I I think he'll develop into a decent keeper. Him, twenty year old. I think what that allows you to do is to basically let Rob Elliott go. And. Get a couple of million in. Um, you got Stefan O'Connor from the reserves and Kieran Clark there. I I think you can let Federico Fernandez go. Again, you probably make seven, eight million. So you probably make ten million if Fernandez and Elliot go. Right, let's go down the list. Um, Jamie Sterry's homegrown. Not really going to account too much. Yavi Mankilo and DeAndre Yedlin. I would probably sell Yedlin for 10 million. That way you bring in 20 million. Um, and that does actually start to add up after a while. Jack Colback. I. Unless you go and get a proper centre mid, I don't know. Him and Saive, I think you look to move on in the future. Um, Nabil Bentaleb looks like a good signing for you. Um, but all in, looking at um, looking at this side, <laughs> looking at this side is a bit of a shower. I'm not going to lie, it's a complete rebuild job. 100%. Um, you're going to need number 10. You're going to need a striker. Uh, you're going to need a right winger. And the rest I think you can muddle through with. So if we just look at those three positions. Striker, the number 10 and a right winger. We'll have a little look. See what your options are. Um, Oyazabal, <laughs> forget it, um, <laughs> you're not going to be able to pick him up, um, he's bang average right across the board, but, <sighs> yeah, um, you're not going to get him, Max Ahrens, you don't need, Richarlson, Easy, Neves, you're not getting any of them, let's go to play a search, and let's have a look who they're recommending here. Now, Reese Nelson, right winger. I think if you got him on loan, you know, would they look to uh, let him go on loan? Maybe they'll let Reese Nelson go out on loan. Um, 
Now let's have a little look. Let's have a look for a striker first. Eddie Nketi is a good player, but um, would be a good signing. I don't think they'll let him go. We can have a little nibble. Um, we don't have much to play with. 108 million. Holy shizzle. Um, okay, maybe you can get him on loan. Uh, Milan Barros. Hello. Blast from the past. Um, Christian Stuani. Right midfield. Mm. Andre Gray. 5.75 million they want for him. Andre Gray could do a job for you. Um, let's have a look at his history. I mean, he got 23 in 41 in the Championship. Moved up to the Premier League. He's got 9, 5 and then 7. So it's probably not what you're looking for. But I think he can play out on the right-hand side as well. Um, Umani ass. The pain in the ass. Rocky Santa Cruz. Another blast from the past. Good player. Um, I saw him play at Blackburn. Klasian Huntela. Now, he would be a good striker for a season, Class Jan, Jan Huntela. Let's have a look at the value. Hmm. I mean, if you got thirty million in transfers, if you managed to bring in thirty million. I think you could possibly have a little bit of a do in the transfer market, but it's very difficult. Mm. I mean, looking at this, it's slim pickings. Really slim pickings. Let's see. Yeah, not a lot there. I think what you could do, just go to loans. So you got Andre Gray, who could go out and loan. Uh, make an offer. Loan offer. There you go. Boom. There's your striker signed. He looks decent. Try Parrot. Decent play. He's listed for loan. Hmm. Okay, let's go have a look at right wingers. I mean, there's Robert Snodgrass. He's okay. There's Jonathan Lecko, a young player, but he plays more on the left. Junior Stanislas, again, on the left. Florian Josephson, Josephson, okay, difficult name to pronounce. Danilo Pantic from Chelsea. God, it is really slim pickings, isn't it? 
that's because a lot of the players just aren't interest, interested in joining um, Newcastle. That's really quite bad. Uh, Adama Traore. Oh. Renato Augusto. Okay, he looks good. Contracted to Beijing. So how much can we get in for? Are they like trying to let him go? Um, hang on, wait till we see that though. Oh, fourteen point seven five million. There you go. Cause that little green flag there says fee matches or exceeds clause fee. Finalise that offer. So you could get Renato Augusto and Brazilian number ten dribbling sixteen, finishing fourteen, first touch sixteen, passing sixteen, technique sixteen, right foot, six foot one, he's fourteen stone, he's not gonna get knocked around. He could be your right winger. Um, Sandre Gray and Renato Augusto could actually do a hell of a lot for you. And uh, yeah, I think that hopefully will help you out. Michael Antonio, maybe you could get him. I don't know. Um, let's see. This guy here, you could probably get him on loan. But he's left winger. Said Ben Rama. Again, they listed as right wingers, and then when you pull them up, they show that they're on left wing. Tahif Chong, Man United. Maybe you could loan him. So, just as a backup. Um. And just make the offer and who knows, maybe Newcastle's grey offer accepted. Oh god, hand over to Mike Ashley. Oh god. Uh, Renato Augusto. Right, start negotiations yourself. <laughs> and just... Just sign the player yourself because, uh, oh my god, he's only offering 48 grand. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, good luck managing these boys. Let's hand over to Mike Ashley for the crack. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough ask managing Newcastle. It's probably one of the toughest saves in the Premier League. And I don't envy you trying it. Um, but there are quite a lot of lads there you can sell on. Um, and a couple that you can bring through. So, good luck to you. Hopefully, <laughs> you do better. Um, you know, and you can find some decent players. But, for me, like I say, your best, ele uh, your best 11 is... Dubravka, Lazaro, Shah, Lascelles, Rose, then Bentaleb and Shelby midfield, with Richie, Almiron, San Maximin playing behind Joel Linton. <sighs> good luck. <laughs> Just good luck because that's going to be a tough, tough season. So, take care of yourself. I'll see you all soon.